What up everybody? Today we're going to be going over AI Power Grid once again. There was a couple issues I noticed going on with them and their pulls uh, yesterday when I did my other video and uh, they're working on fixing that. And so I want to go ahead and address that. I'm going to recommend a really great pull. You guys should definitely recommend to. So like always, please like and subscribe. Check out the links down below. I will have the link for this pull down below. Recommend checking it out. Mine to it. I've been doing it. It's been amazing. They're getting coins extremely fast and it's super easy to like swap through all their coins and whatnot. So let's get into it. Okay, so AI Power Grid Part 2, and there were a couple of you that wanted to know my overclocks that I was running for another Capel coin I might have done a video on, so I'll have those later on in the video, but yeah, AI Power Grid, if you want all this nitty gritty into it, whatnot, check out my last video. This could be a really interesting project like Chlor.ai and uh, that other AI coin that came out recently among the many, but yeah. So their price has definitely been on a little bit of a downturn, but you know, it's still mad up. It started off around 45 and we're kicking it around 36. Still no official market cap. So this could go anywhere essentially. It, it could finally get added to the AI category on here. So that's really cool. It's still pretty much like the most profitable coin to mine over on hashrate.no. So that's really cool. This is also a really good place to come and look for overclocks, but yeah. So the big issue that I had with them the other day was, uh, one of the issues I have with them is this network difficulty keeps going up and up, you know, as difficulty goes up, profits go down, but yeah, it kind of sucks. But, uh, in my other video that these people had, uh, RPLAT had like 95% of the network hash rate, uh, which is pretty bad. So that number's definitely gone down. They're currently sitting at 87.6% of the known hash rate. So that's something us as miners have to be careful of. I've been mining over to K2 pool, super cool pool, uh, cool pool. It's super easy to get set up. I'm going to show you how to get set up. It's super easy, super simple, but yeah. So if you guys are on our plat still, I know yesterday in my video, I did sign up for our plat, but I've officially moved my rigs over to K one pool. As you can see that no name and rig one have both been here up in mining. So I'm going to break it down for you guys and show you how to get set up. So like always I use T-Rex miner. If you need help with that, just don't, but just comment down below and I will help you also comment down below what, which one of these newer GPU mineable coins do you guys think are going to take off in the next bull run? I really want to hear from you guys. I'm definitely thinking like Octospace is going to be a banger. I definitely think, uh, Dogether hopefully becomes a banger. I've stacked a baby bag of that, but uh, Neoxa banger. Uh, yeah, there's a couple of them. So how you get set up over here. Also, I will have my link down below in the description. Use that, get signed up for the pool. I believe, don't quote me, it'll save you on some of your fees earlier on or something, but yeah, just use the link, help the channel, help me use the link. Okay. So mining pools, uh, this is a Kapow based coin. So you're going to come over here because it starts with an A. It's the first one over on the list. You're going to click on that. You're going to come down here, uh, using Nvidia GPUs, like always good old T-Rex miner USA. And so you can copy this and paste it. The super easy way to do it would be to come over here, hit download windows because they're, you know, T waffles are going to say it's bad. You're going to download unverified. Also do this on your own accord. Uh, you know, it is kind of risky mining on your computers. So, you know, do your research before you just start downloading random stuff. But as far as I know, I'm doing the right thing. Uh, you know, right thing as in mining, you're going to open up your T-Rex folder. Once you have that open, you're going to grab that file and then you're going to drag and drop it over into there. I'm not going to do it because I already did it. Once you have that, you're going to have that run AIPG T 
T-Rex K1 pool. Right click, edit. Uh, you're gonna wanna come in, add your worker name. I believe for K1 pool, you add your worker, it's dot worker. I will get back to me or comment down below if you know, but you just put the wallet dot worker. Maybe it's that one. We'll change that one. Enter. Okay. You got that in. You're going to hit file, save. And as promised, I will show you the overclocks I run. We will minimize that. If you don't need my overclocks, please like and subscribe. So, and have a nice day. But if you do need my overclocks, my AI, also I'm gonna work on this Excel sheet and get them from my other coins for these three cards. I plan on getting more cards in the future. I had a really big farm towards the last bull market, but I sold off. I'm now rocking a couple Ipolos and a couple GPUs. Those Ipolos, bangers. I love Ipolos. But I have some really simple overclocks just because it's easier to, I use these same overclocks for all my ETH hash coins that I mine. It keeps my wattages and hash rate about in the right area for both algorithms. So I just run that. So this is my 3070 Ti. I have a Zotac 3060 Ti and a Founders Edition 3060 Ti, averaging about 30 mega hash. And those are the watts, the hash rate. And yeah, you guys can pause, check that out. If you guys don't need that, Please like and subscribe. Comment down below what coins you're checking out for the next bull market. Also, don't forget to check out the links down below. They'll help me out. They'll help you out. You guys have a nice day. Peace out.